Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Samir and I'm back with another video. Since I started making videos on YouTube, there are lots of questions which I'm getting asked by my viewers that which smartphone do I have? How do I customize my Android devices? What are the apps which I used on my daily drivers and many more. And today, I'm going to answer these questions in this video. So this is a video of me of showing my apps which I'm currently using on my Galaxy S6. And this is my first what's on my Android video. Hope you guys will like it. Now without any further ado, let's get started. The first question which I always get asked is which device I am using as my daily driver. So currently I am using Samsung Galaxy S6 and OnePlus 2. And yeah, I know these are the flagship devices of 2015 and quite outdated. But still, it's powerful enough to handle some hardcore gaming and multitasking and that's all I want. The second most asked question is how do I customize my Android devices. So let me answer this question. One app which I always use on my Android devices is the Nova Launcher. The reason why I use this launcher is because it is the most customizable launcher which you can get on the Play Store and it is quite easy to use. The best thing which I like about the Nova Launcher is that you can customize every aspect of your home screen whether it is the desktop grid size, icon layout or even app drawer style. You can also set up different gestures to open your apps or setting in a matter of time. The next app on the list is known as Draw On Icon Pack, which is a new arrival on the Play Store. The main attraction of this app is that each icon is digitally hand drawn and colored using a charcoal pencil. It has more than 3400 hand drawn icons, and I'm loving it. You won't find any other icon pack like this on the Play Store. Moving forward to the next app, which is called Walls, and as the name implies, it is a wallpaper app not just like any other wallpaper app. It has more than 1 million wallpapers. What? Seriously? Yeah, you heard it right. Rather than having 1 million wallpapers, it also have 30 plus major OEM wallpapers, like from Samsung, HTC, Google, OnePlus, etc. And the wallpapers which I am currently using is of Galaxy Note 7. There is a feature called blur effect, through which you can create a blurry effect to any wallpaper and it really looks awesome. The last app which I use to customize my Android device is a widget known as RL Zooper widget. This is one of the most beautiful widget app which you can download from Play Store. There are lots of clock, weather, search widgets through which you can choose from. And before installing this widget, make sure you have Zooper Pro widget pre-installed. Now the last and the most common question which I get asked is that what are the apps which I use? So the first app on the list is Notify, which is a notification app. Notify offers you a new way to read notification and also reply to them, just from anywhere you want. Sometimes you don't want to quit your current app, but also need to quick reply to a message. At this point, Notify will help you. This app enables you to reply from anywhere, whether you are watching a YouTube video or reading an article. You can also change the color of your notification according to your liking. The next app on the list is my all-time favorite and I'm using this since 2013. The app is called N7 Player, which is basically a music player but not just like any other. It approaches an entirely different user interface of browsing your music. By pinching in, you will see the names of album and artist which are automatically grouped. And when you pinch out, you can access the entire album. You will also find a dedicated equalizer which have lots of preset and advanced setting. Moving forward to the next app which is a selfie camera app known as Sweet Selfie and it is the best app for those who like to click lots of selfies. It basically enhancifies your image to a natural look without doing any advanced level editing. And you will also get lots of amazing life filter from which you can give a different feel to your every image. The last app on the list is quite famous these days and I'm sure many of you are already using it. The app is called Prisma which is a very unique app in itself because it changes the definition of artistic editing. 
You can easily give an artistic look and feel to your images with just a single click and make them unique. So guys that's all for today. If you like this video and find it useful then do share it with your friends and don't forget to click the subscribe button for more future updates. Till then have a nice day and I will see you in my next video.